so that it could really stick in your minds and in your hearts. Um, but before that, let's all bow our heads for a word of prayer. We're asking if all of you can be reverently silent as we pray. We're calling the attention of all the members. We are continuing to be in the sacred presence of God. We serve a mighty and a powerful God. It's very appropriate and very important to be very reverent. We are in the house of God. Let's cooperate with our songliness. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, as we continue to worship you through singing, may you please be with us. May you allow your holy angels to sing with us. And as we learn some scripture songs, may you teach us, O oh Lord, and so that we could sing with all our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Do you all remember the first scripture song that we taught you? Found in what book? Very good. Oh, very good. Praise the Lord. Psalms 119, verse 11. side of the Lord. The words are, humble thyself in the side of the Lord, humble thyself in the side of the Lord, and he will lift you up higher and higher, and he will lift you up. So um, it's, it's a follow, follow song. So when I say, and then they'll follow, we'll learn it that way. Humble thyself in the side of the Lord. Humble thyself in the side of the Lord. will start with them and this side will follow with me and Monisha and then 
and he will lift you up and we'll sing it together. the book of Jude. There's only one chapter, verses 24 and 25. Jude, verse 24 and 25. And here it says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Verse 25, To the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. So we will sing this song. Um, for those of you who know it, please sing along with us. And then we'll teach you the song line by line. after us.
to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Next, to the Again, repeat. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty. this very moment we'll have our season of prayer but it will be specific first of all my brother will offer a prayer for all businessmen so we'll request we we would like to request everybody as business those who are involved in this area in your in your, in your life those who still who those who deals with business please would like invite you to come in the front as my brother will offer prayer for you and at the second part i will be offering a prayer for those uh senior citizens yeah. yes thank you so those in this uh age so coming in front also will be offering a pre special special prayer for you and first of all like start with those businessmen please those who can uh, kneel down, who can kneel down together as we pray. Let's pray. Righteous Father, we'd like to praise you and magnify your holy name, Father, for who you are. We praise you, Father, for all the riches of the whole universe belong to you. We'd like to praise you, Lord, for once you always bless us, Lord, beyond measure. And I'd like to thank you very much in a very particular way for your people, the teachers, the professional 
the businessmen and women lot of this area. I just want to thank you very much for how they have been contributing to the carrying of the gospel message by their money in the church. I thank you very much, Father, for that little faithfulness that you have seen in them, O oh God. Father God of heaven, I would like to plead and beg of you in Jesus' name that may you forgive them for where they fell to give tithe and offering. Have mercy upon, upon them, Lord, and may you please cleanse them and purify them from all unrighteousness. Oh, Father, indeed you have said once we are faithful in little, you will even bless us even more. Lord, I like to plead and beg and intercede for them right now in Jesus' name. May you restore to them the years that the locusts have eaten. May you restore to them the profit that the locusts have eaten, Father. I plead and I beg of you, may you help them, may you bless them with their business so that they can hasten the second coming of Jesus. That the money will be contributed to the hearing of the gospel, will be contributed to the, to the, to the church so that, Lord, many people will be brought to the feet of the cross. Help them to be faithful, Lord. Bless their families. Bless, strengthen them, Father, and increase their faith for you are more than willing to bless them abundantly, exceedingly, more than what they can think or imagine. Father, we praise you and we magnify your holy name for your faithfulness. We thank you very much for what they are going to experience in their business, in their professions. We thank you very much, Father, for once we acknowledge you, you always, you always direct the path. And we thank you for listening and answering to our prayer. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, seniors, please, we'll be praying again for you. 60 years and above, please, we are requesting you to come in front as we offer special prayer for you. Please come in front if you are on your 60 years and above. We'll be praying for you. So I would like us the church to remain in silent as we are still in God's presence. Please reverence. So we would like to dedicate our mom here in the God's hand. I would like to ask if possible to kneel with me. Oh, yes, mom. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Yes. If it's possible to kneel with me, it's okay. But if not, okay, it's okay. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this gathering. And thank you so much for this privilege to call upon your name. Oh, Father, who am I to pray for these people, Lord, for our dear mom that stand here, Lord. They come in their knees, oh Lord. And I praise thee, Lord, because on this very age, oh Lord, they still have the strength to come and to seek you, oh Lord. I praise thee, oh Lord, because I know you have sustained them. You have kept them safe in thy hands. You have... O oh Lord, sustain all they need, O oh Lord. And I believe if they hear our Lord, it's all because of your grace. O oh Lord, I know that they are on this age. This means wisdom, O oh Lord, knowledge, O oh Lord. Thank you so much because we are still want to fulfill something in this broken and sinful world, O oh Lord. Thank you so much. I pray that everybody that who comes in contact with them, they may fill with your Holy Spirit. I pray that what they may find to do, they may do it all for your glory, O Lord. Oh Lord, please. Please, I know that they need you more than never in their lives, O Lord. But please, this is my humble pray that their homes, O Lord, may, may be a home that people see Jesus there, O Lord. Oh Father, guide them every day. And I pray that they may continuously live a devoted life. Thank you so much because you are still want to do great and my thing, I don't know. Each one of us here in this place, we don't know. But we believe because you say so in, the, in your scriptures, O oh Lord. Thank you so much. As again, I would like to rededicate their lives in thy hand, O oh Lord. Please, all, oh Lord, all, all that they have and all who they are, Lord, we submit in, they, in thy hands, O oh Lord. Please, as again I pray, use them only for, for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
So now we'll be hearing a special song from Smyrna, Jose, and uh, Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken.